You're going live, Ann? Yep. Lorna, are you too? Everybody's live. Okay, we're live today at Deanne Fitzpatrick Studio, and welcome. Today is episode number 74, right, Angela? Yes. Today is episode number 74, and it is December 2021. I love December. Where's the last 12 months gone? I don't know. You've been here now over a year. I've been here uh, three quarters almost. How many rugs have you made? Uh, come up 10 or 11. Yeah, almost this... Like this one is my favorite. This was my quickest large one. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I and said, I noticed you're using one of these bags. That's it's nice. It's a great bag. Yeah. Actually. Good. Thank you. You, know, you don't get many good bags to carry around. No, it's nice. It's And black and white goes with everything. It does. It does. So, so I'll be covered in dog for the time you finish with it. <laughs> tell us about this rug um, before you reveal your rug. This is Joe. Joe works with me. He's yeah. He's the man you talk to when you call. Um, we were out visiting f good friends in Seashelt, British Columbia, which yeah. is on the Sunshine Coast. Yeah. And uh, they have a lovely place there because one, one of the people is a landscape engineer gardener. Okay. And the other one uh, deals with trauma. Oh. I was a trauma cons counselor. So while we were there, we didn't go many places because of COVID. But yeah. But a beautiful house that sits on the hillside. Yeah. And it looks out into this beautiful part of the ocean okay where i had made a comment i wouldn't want to be here if it was a tsunami no and they said well actually where they are the mountainous range protects them okay and the ocean is as deep as the mountains there oh so it's, wow it's, it's beautiful that's interesting it's, yeah it's just great yeah um but when i was there i was doodling in the back of a book i was reading and yeah i'm gonna go home and make them a rug because they hosted us yeah and, uh, oh, so this is a gift? Yeah, it's a gift. Oh. Yeah, so they're actually coming east uh, to see a family member because one of them's originally from the county. Yeah. Here. And I kind of thought this would be a really nice gift. Oh, them. that's really nice. I didn't get that part. Yeah. And And are you framing it or no? Uh, I want to actually, um, I'm going to treat it as if it's a floor rug. Right. And if they decide to frame it afterwards, they could. They could. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to give it to them as a rug. Yeah, but uh, I still have to pick out a, a color for it to go around the borders. Oh, why? I think it's fine the way it is. Well, I wanted to do the uh, well, I wanted to do the whipping on the sides. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, you're yeah. going to whip it. Oh, that's beautiful, Joe. I love this area in here. But you should hold it like this because people can't really see it. Yeah, I f feel like from a distance you go back there a bit. I'm being bossy, but yeah, it's really, really good. And I love that little, like the little line, the, the fence or ridge or whatever it is, the deck ridge, I yeah. guess. It makes it really nice. But the, my favorite part is this area in here. It's so well done. A lot of yarn in it. A lot of yarn in yeah. it. Most of it from here. Yeah. Um, I did pick up a couple of uh, skeins out west. Okay. Um, just because there were different things I saw there and they were and, on sale. And it's nice to have the western, like to have that you bought some out there. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I put uh, the crayon blue is in here. A lot of crayon blue, some in the sky. So. And uh, the machine play is in here. Yeah. The Masham clay is in there, and I see the thicket, the That's blue thicket. I'm using that today, too. I really like it. Do we have any of that in stock, the yes, blue thicket? Do. Okay. And yeah. the curly locks are in there, along yeah. with the wool cloth dyed here. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Now we should lay it down, and let's go right in on it and uh -oh. see your stuff, because it's so nice. I love what you did here, the way you mix that. So you just have, you use curly locks very lightly. A lot of times you use it heavy over here, but very lightly here. It's very nice. Yeah, because I hook curly locks with another yarn. Yeah, you do, do you? Yeah. You take one strand of curly locks and, like, one strand of that dark green heather yep. or something. Yep. This is all yeah. dark green heather that we just got in stock yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Which is just a beautiful color of a yarn. Yeah. I think it's really nice. I like what you've done. Well, and that's actually a recycled fabric. Yeah. That came from something I got early last year and cut into strips. And I like how you have used three different grays in your fence. Like, you're, you'd are you be tempted to just do this whole thing, right? Yes. You know? But this shows, I don't know, it just shows more interest, more light. Well, it's aged, it's, um, it's cedar that turns right. gray, right? Yeah. Um, on that fence post. What's it called? Um, a view from Seashelt. A, vo a view from Seashelt. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's a great community that has a lot of uh, incorporation of the indigenous people that live okay. there. Okay, yeah. It's a wonderful feeling there. It's, Is uh, it really it's not, nice? It's not that far from where they uh, filmed the beachcombers. Oh, okay, right. Molly's Reef. Yeah. It's like it's and maybe you got Sari in here too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like to use different fabrics. Yeah. Point. And you got a lot of studio dyed in here. Yes, and I didn't quite know what I was going to do with the mountains because there's actually mm -hmm. timber in there, but. 
I kind of thought I'd go with this type of a style versus getting too intricate with it. Yeah. Here comes Terry. Terry, are you packing someone's order? I am. Great. Don't. You're not interrupting anything. Thank you. Hi, everyone. This is beautiful. Yeah. I love it. And that's chill. Oh, that's chill. That's chill. That yeah. That yeah. We don't have any of that one left. No, we have a couple other different colors that are out Yeah, there. there's some ruby, I think. Some yeah. ruby chill. And, there's some yeah. gray and yellow mixed, and there is a cranberry one that's out there. So Lisa's coming from Mastown Market this yes. afternoon, and she's going to uh, get some kits, and I'm going to talk to her. We're talk, talking about Joe and I. Joe just came up with a brilliant idea about how to repackage our kits, our beginner kits. Our beginner kits are in this hard PET plastic. It's really a hard plastic, and I know it's hard to recycle. And so I've been, I get on this kick every six months and say, I want to use cardboard, I want to use cardboard. And then he thought of an idea and I just thought we would use a sticker on the cardboard, but then he thought of an idea of a wraparound. So we want to ask Lisa, because Mastown Market is this great market. I told you guys about it before. They carry our kits, but if you're driving from anywhere in the Maritimes and going to Halifax, it's a great stop. It's sort of halfway through at Mastown. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great food. Dairy, meat. Dairy. Fish, they bacon. make their own milk. They make their own cheese. It's an incredible place. It's a great experience. To yeah, the it is. Yeah, and... Uh, um, a beautiful gift store too. I yeah. like I like Lisa's taste. I guess I often find things in there. So, you got anything else to tell us? No, I'm glad you went to Sable Island and you're environmentally conscious. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I never. I'm going to save my Sable Island trip. I'm going to do a new design class this winter, at some point. Um, and I'm and I have all kinds of ideas about my trip to Sable Island that I'm going to use. I've had it out there. So the next thing I could. Today, we showed you Joe's rug. I have several things I want to talk to you about today. I want to show you about cutting out ornaments after you've used the white glue finish. I want to show you about using a thicket, uh, a blue thicket, or using a water feature. Thank you, Joe. I really appreciate it. Um, I want to show you about thicket and using, a water feature, using it as a water feature in a field rug. Um, I want to talk to you about Kit of the Month a little bit, about the harbor, and I want to show you our new deep dyes. So say, well, I'm going to save that for the end. So the first thing I want to do now is I'm looking at this field rug. Remember, I'm making, I'm trying to come up with a couple of different kits for field rugs. So we did a video earlier this week where I showed you how to use, like to just create all white at the top for the clouds. So now I'm going to create this field rug here and I'm just going in and I'm just carrying the line of green and a lot of times when I'm doing field rugs I, I don't outline um, when I do outline I often end up taking it out it just doesn't work out for me I this when my son was 14 years old he said mom this was just so cute I think those I think those kind of rugs are your best work he's just just a young fella and uh, and it always stuck with me, and I, I feel like I feel like I agree on a lot of levels that this this is some of my favorite and some of my best work that I've ever made in my life. The, these field rugs, they I really feel them when I'm making them. You know, I really feel the the county here that I live in. I live in a in a quite a rural county, and. So you can see the sky in this one is going to be interesting. So what I'm doing uh, right now with my field rugs is I am coming up with some new designs. Uh, we have uh, the Harvest Moon, and we'd like to have something bigger, but not a great big kit. So we have, like, the County Moon and the Harvest Moon kit, and I'd like to have something really um, in between that and a great big rug so that people could have a little bigger kit in that design so you'll notice that we did a live right from our website and in the future we'll share our lives here of course but in the future we hope to be doing the lives right on the website so if you go to hookingrugs.com you'll see lives at the top right there on the menu there's lives and there's podcasts and if you click on lives you can see a live that we did earlier this week right from our own website so um, we're hoping to do that now one of the things I want to show you today is about creating a water feature in a field rug and to me you get the perfect blue which right now for me is thicket I love this blue like look at it like wouldn't this outfit look great if I had blue underneath 
Wouldn't it be pretty? Anyway, this is just such a beautiful color. So, what I want to do, you don't, like if you want to show a river or a pond or something, you don't always have to make like something that just looks exactly like a river or you don't have to make kind of a an oval or a circle in a field rug like this you can just take see this area that i've created here you can just take the blues and bring them in and they're not brought in perfectly in any shape or fashion they're just brought together nicely And you just hook it kind of across the area or you know you can hook it in three or four spots even if you want and you could kind of bring it and thicken up another spot if you want and then you can bring your greens in and around it just as if just as if you were hooking, you know, your feels. And then the blue, because of the contrast, will appear like a water feature. So a water feature being a river, a pond, a brook, whatever. It just, and how much you put in will uh, determine. And you don't need like a ton of different colors. You can just have one color uh, of blue. Doesn't, doesn't need to be fancy sometimes. It can just, now see what's happened there is my blues and my greens have gotten mixed up. So I've got to Go back, get my green, pinch it. Ah, I did it again. Bring my blue up first. Bring those together. Susan Jodry wants to know, do you prefer yarn to wool? Um, I do right now. I prefer using yarn, but wool cloth is great. There's not a thing wrong with wool cloth. I use it, I use it a lot as well. And uh, like there's some wool cloth in here. I use it often, more than a lot, let's say. Uh, but yeah, I uh, probably there's a little bit in most of my rugs. But more and more, I'm interested in yarn because yarn can do things that uh, wool cloth can't for me. Because wool cloth is just one texture, whereas with yarn, there's hundreds of textures. But let's take a little wool cloth right now, for example. And in this sky up here. What's the green that you're using, Dan? Uh, this huh? green here. This green is my favorite. It's Woody Moss. And it's from the, from the uh, Sunday Drive collection, and it's excellent. It's just an excellent, excellent color. So this is my hand-cut wool cloth, and this is the wool cloth we use in the studio. It's nice and soft. Sally says Harvest Moon was her very first rug. Oh, was it? That's great. It is a great, it is a great design, Harvest Moon. I love it. And I'm kind of, yeah, I guess I'm kind of expanding on that in a different colorway with this, with this new design. We haven't got it figured out which one it's going to be yet. And sorry, what's the green below the river? The green below the river is, uh, I think it's called Arakita, and it's Rasta, Rasta Arakita. So one of the things that we've been doing this week is we've decided to start over dyeing some yarns so that we have uh, some more interesting colors. And I'm going to show you that right at the, right before we wrap up. I'm going to show you the new colors that we've come up with by over dyeing and I'm really really pleased with them just think it's great so you know cloth is one kind of texture and I think it's an amazing texture and I'll never not use it I love it I think it's great I also like the solidity of the color that you can get with it and just the shape here the shape of the the shape of the loops and one time I only used cloth but you know we change and evolve well, that's good that's just part of 
being human, about every 10 years, we renew ourselves quite a you know, we change quite a lot. Are you the same person you were 10 years ago, Lorna? Mm -hmm. No, you're not. Are you, Angela? No. No. Are you guys? What changes have you seen in yourself in 10 years? That's a good question. In the last 10 years, like, a, do you have, have any of you seen big changes in yourself? You can answer in the comments. We're glad to hear from you. What changes have you seen in yourself in 10 years? What size hook are you using, Dan? Uh, I always use this one size. It's like a medium studio hook. Yeah. Paula says she's happier with herself. Oh, Paula, you're happier with yourself. Tracy says I hook more. Tracy oh, Kinsella. that's a big change, Tracy. Yeah. I'll Allie, self-acceptance. Self-acceptance? For Allie, was it? Yep. And Kathleen Kettles, I'm not a workaholic anymore. Oh, Kathleen, welcome home. Randy Cohen, getting shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting a little shorter too, Randy, but I'm hanging on to six foot, up six foot four. <laughs> five foot four. I, I'm... I'm pretending I'm five foot. I'm still pretending I'm five foot four. Probably I'm probably like five foot three and a half now. So I want to talk to you about kid of the month, because Lorna says there is room now. Over the over the last year, there's been times where we couldn't take anyone in kid of the month, but we can now. We can take people in kid of the month. So how kid of the month works is I look at a rug that I've made in the past year. Or whatever, but it can be any rug that I've ever made that I love and that I think is beautiful, which I think most of them I, I like quite a bit, but, you know, some, definitely some I like better than others. So what I do with Kid of the Month is I take the rug, and then it's one that we don't have a kid off, so it's special, and I make a miniature version of that rug, and it can be anywhere from 10 by 10 to 11 by 17, usually. That's the size, somewhere in there. Sometimes they're squares, sometimes they're rectangles. Sometimes they're skinny rectangles, sometimes they're fat rectangles. So we make a card of the rug, a picture of the rug, and then we make a kit designed based on that rug. Now, we have about, I think there's eight or ten spots left in this month's kit of the month. So it's one of the few times. So first of all, I'm just going to show you what kit of the month just comes in a, in a UPS bag. And then we use com this bag inside is compostable plastic right here. And if you look inside here, so this rug was one that I made. This was last month's kit of the month. So this rug was one that I made in the last year. And we send you a beautiful image of it with the card, and it's a blank card, so you can send that to someone, or if you want to gift them the rug with the card, you can do that. And then in here, you'll get a color key, right here. And then here's the design, and we always make sure that we leave lots of extra linen for your hoop. So there's your design right here. I draw out the pattern, and then Greg copies them. And then, so for this one, we only have this one left of this one, so you wouldn't get this one next month. So there's the turquoise, and there's the dark green for the hills, and we make mixes for you. And so look at this. This is going to be gorgeous down in the foreground, right? And so Greg creates these mixes. I suggest the colors based on this. And then there's the blue for the river and the water. So that just gives you an idea. So you get all of that, and it's a combination of cloth and yarn. It's always a combination. And we use a lot of studio hand dyed in it. And uh, we send it out either each month or each quarter. So you can join and you can get one every three months. So if someone wants this one, just call Joe and tell them. Whoever the first caller can have it. But if you want to, so, because this one's already gone. But if you want to join, uh, you can join now. Last year, this time, um, we started building it, and in, by the end of the winter, you couldn't get in, I think, eh, Lorna? Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that we'll get some new members, because a lot of people join for six months or five months or three months. And uh, so there it is, right there. That's how it comes. Now, this month, the card that you will get will be this one here. It's a mermaid. The one that's coming up is the kid of the month, and it's a mermaid. And this rug is in my sister's bathroom. 
she has uh, like 50 mermaids in this tiny bathroom. I don't know how she gets them all in there, but she does. And, and uh, so I'm basing it on this, and I've created the pattern. So I've hand-drawn the pattern, so the, the kit will be about that big. And I think it's always, it's always the same price, isn't it, 129 So it's a recurring charge. It's kind of like wool box, but it's a kit box. It's a kit bag. And so you get the card, and then it's going to come with a lot of different wools. Probably, you know, you can see that these kinds of colors are going to go in it. And I'm going to base the colors on the teals and creams in this. So that's kit of the month. If you want to join... And you can say about the payment, how, like, how, like how, how we send it out. Oh, yeah. So if you join, like, say, for example, if they join now, they would get uh, this this month's kit, which is not... This isn't... This isn't December. That's December. So this one is actually going to be out in January. First, yeah. yeah. So what's this month's kit? I forget. That's the secret. I don't know. This this is December. So yeah, no, this yeah. goes out the 1st yeah. of January. So if you join now, you'll get this kit and it will go out in the 1st of January. So if you join on the 2nd of the month or the 3rd of the month or the 30th of the month, it goes the first of the following month. That's how we do it. That's how wool box works, and that's how kid of the month works. So that's that's what we got going on here. We're thinking about changing the cardboard for our little beginner kits, and we have a little. This is we're thinking about using a box like this, and that way everything is compostable, right? So that would be good. Um, now, what else was I going to show you today? The field rug the deep dyes, the kit of the month. Oh, I was going to show you how to cut out the ornaments. I want to do that. So in our Christmas course, one of the things we do is make a bunch of ornaments. And so what I did with this is I spread white glue on them a couple of days ago, and the white glue dried, okay? And now I'm just going to cut these out because I'm going to put these. These will probably go, well, they could go on gifts. I might save these because I have a video about it. Um, we but, should mention that we did another video for that course. Yes. So one of the things we apologize, one of the mistakes I made when I was making that course was I forgot to do a video um, about spreading the glue on it. So what you can, uh, so in that course, so we've made an extra video and we've added it into the course and we emailed everybody who, who took the course. So this is, I'm just cutting these out. What I usually do is I kind of cut around them like that, kind of big. And what the white glue does is it kind of plasticizes them. So that you can have like really fine little ends. You know, you can have like, you can like have shapes like that. What do you call that? Like points and stuff. Uh, and deep so I'm cutting it all out. So these are three little things that I've made for another video that I'm going to show sometime. Um, but anyway, these... Is there a certain brand of glue? I yeah. always use Lepages. I like Lepages. Just a white glue. Just a white glue. So um, uh, I think I tend to use a white wood glue. So be sure, because I don't know. I just know that that works. Other glues might work as well. But... I'm sure there's lots of glues you can use. I have chosen Lepages because that's what my father used. He always used Lepages. So I find it a good product. So I'm just cutting all these out. And I've got these little ornaments that you could put on gifts or... This one's really cute, the little owl. Oh, Deanna, they're looking for your mother's cherry cake recipe. Oh, you want my mother's cherry cake recipe? Well, maybe I'll put it in the Sunday letter this week. I'll take a picture of it tonight and send to you, Ange. Great. It's so good. I'm going to make it soon. Thing is, last week, last year, we ate the cherry cake like we ate it so fast. Probably a week. And I don't remember loving it quite that much when I was younger, but I do now. But we ate a whole cake. I'm going to make my fruitcake, too. And my fruitcake recipe is on the website. But if you are in the Christmas course, you'll see that I made it with you. So that's just a little show you how to cut those out. Now, I want to talk to you about a new series of wools that we're doing. I'll be right back. I just got to throw this in the garbage. 
I want to talk to you about a new series of wools that we're doing in the studio, and it's called our Deep Dyes. And these are now on the website. So one of the problems I've had is I need more, I'm noticing because I'm mixing a lot, I need more solid colors and I need more deeper colors. So these are called Studio Deep Dyes, and so this is Wilderness. So what we've done is we've taken woody moss and we've over-dyed it. Um, everyone loves chocolate. This is another Studio Deep Dye. We've taken one of our, one of our special dyes and over-dyed it. And this one is res Fieldberry Yogurt right here. So it's a little deeper red. It's perfect for a blueberry field. Laguna, uh, another Studio Deep Dye, is a, is a gorgeous teal. And these colors are working really well together. Um, and they're all available individually. And then we have Crowning Glory in the purple. I'm going to move that down because I think I love purple and brown together. Um, so these are, our new, these are new yarns that are available on our website and uh, I just want, want you to see them. And we're going to come out with more darker colors. That's one of the things that we want to do is have some deeper colors for backgrounds. So um, I think this teal, I'm just going to bring these in and just see which one I'd like to work with. So this is really, this would be really great in this rug. I don't know about that brown teal. I feel like I want to open that brown up. Uh, I'm not, I might not be giving back any of these. They are awesome. Well, I'll leave them over here so you can see them. Um, I think I'm going to take the brown. And so what we've done with these is we've tried to have like nice, solid uh, colors, but with a little bit of gradation, right? So you can see the rust shining through here on this. So I'm going to take this color right here, and I'm going to start over here underneath the water. And I'm doing two. And one of the things I'm just going to show you, when you start, sometimes if you're starting on the edge, you can bring up a loop, leave your end down, and then just bring up the next loop and kind of hide it in there. And that's a little tip I've shown on these videos before. But I just, I, you know, there's always someone new watching, so we want to share the things we already know. So it's December, is today December 1st or December 2nd? Second. Today is the 2nd. So it is the second day that the harbor has been made available. And the harbor is now available for purchase. So if you were thinking about joining the harbor for 2022, if you want more creativity in your life, if you want rug hooking to be your medium, then join me for um, a full year of learning and creativity. It's a... Each month you get a password. You get them all at once, actually, but you go in. We're going to send out reminders to people each month. And you go into the uh, harbor and you have 12 different sets of lessons that will help you become, as I say, it helps people become the artists that they didn't even know, uh, that they didn't even know they were. They didn't know it was in them. And that's happened for many, many people. We've, it has over 50 five star reviews. So join us. It's $399, and it's a year-long courses. Plus, there's the bonus material, which makes it, uh, which we did last year. And this year, we're adding, uh, I'm going to do some group creative coaching with people. So uh, we're going to have uh, several times throughout the year. We're going to, oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. The brown, the blue, the green. It's gorgeous. Um, we're going to have, I'm going to do um, creative coaching like this afternoon, for example. We're doing it for the people who were in the harbor last year, um, in the last two years. Once you're a member of the harbor, you're always a member of the harbor. I'm going to be there at 3.30. We're doing a creative coaching online. If you're a member of the harbor, you would have gotten an email and you'd have access to that. And uh, we do it as a group. So you just come on if you have a rug that you want help with, if you have uh, questions. So we're going to be doing more of those this year. And I've written and Angela has designed a fantastic workbook so that can lead you. So if you took the harbor in 20, 2020 or 21 this year, you will also have access to the workbook. So uh, that is one fantastic course that changes people's lives. And I, I know it does because they tell me and I've seen it. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great course for becoming more creative, 
and to put more energy into your work and to really, if you want to take some time for yourself uh, to become the creative person that uh, you can be, then that's the course for you. So Getting lots me. of nice harbor comments. Are there? We, a lot of the people yeah. who are watching this live are already members of the harbor. So I know I know that for sure. Now look at this brown. Like just this is what it is about color. I think I'm going to have to open this teal too. It's too nice. I can't help it. The workbook is actually free. It's and it comes with the course. Oh, it's included with the course. Yeah. So if you've already taken the harbor, it's actually underneath the January, the month of January. You can find the workbook there to download. Look at the teal and the brown together, you guys. Look at that. So Greg dyed these this week. He was fooling around with something, and I said, we need a series of those, Greg. Those are awesome. I love them. And are they available now for sale? Uh, yeah, they're on the website. Uh, they're under uh, Studio Deep Dyes. Studio Deep Dye. And so uh, in the harbor, what happens is uh, you'll have access to um, our harbor community, our Facebook community, but which will soon be, we'll soon have our own private community for the harbor. Uh, that is that's just on our website. Uh, I have a, somebody working on that now with me. So I love these colors together. I'm just so happy. Do we have time for me to get? Do we have a little time for for me to hook a bit more on this? Or it's two thirty four. Two thirty four. Okay. Better wrap it up. All righty. Some days there's just a lot to chat about. Okay. going to add in some slub here. I use slub up here and I'm going to use it again down here. Just so nice. And I, you know, sometimes you think like these colors don't really work together, but gosh, they do. You know, the teal now mixed in, you know, sort of a blue green mixed in with kind of a brown green, but it can look really, really great. And then sometimes I find just a little piece like that and I'll just use that to bring those together. So this is off to a good start. I'm probably going to have this finished for next week when you guys come on. I hope so. Well, I should. Never make any promises, but I never like to pressure myself but to finish something. But I, I'm going to probably get in. I'm probably going to uh, see. I don't like that. See how oh. that got red spotty? I got to go to the other side. Yeah, that got really spotty. I'm going to pull that out. Uh, kind of lost. Okay, so there we go. So that's it for this week. I told you about a lot of things. I told you about a lot of things we're doing. And I showed you about putting a water feature, simple, simply way to put a water feature in a field rug. It's just with your blues. We talked about hand cutting wool cloth, and I showed you that. I showed you the new studio deep dyes and the beautiful colors that we're coming up with. And I love these. These are all in two ply, and, you know, they're, they're great they're great value for sixteen ninety five. You get a lot of yarn. It covers a lot of area. I talked to you about the harbor. I told you that we're thinking about changing the packaging on our uh, beginner kits and making it a little, uh, a little better. And I showed you about um, the kit of the month and how we create it and how we work it. And I'm going to go bring this out to Greg now so that I don't misplace this, uh, the mermaid that we're getting ready for next month. And I also showed you about cutting out after you use the Lepage's glue. I showed you about cutting that out. So that's everything we did today. Can you believe we did that in half an hour? Because we were a little late starting. So that's pretty good. What do you think? Want to wrap it up? Yeah. They want to see the rug from this side. Oh, they want to see the rug from this side? There's not a lot to see yet. We're just getting there. There it is. We're going to have something over here. Could be this color. Might be. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to use some of these yarns because we're going to have these yarns in stock, so they'll be perfect when I'm making kits. My gosh, those colors are beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Oh. I know. All right. Fieldberry yogurt. Fieldberry yogurt. Crown and glory. Wilderness. Laguna. Chocolate. chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate. I'm more of a white chocolate girl, but anyway, that doesn't matter. See ya. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm glad you do, and you know I mean it. I know you know. See ya.